Okay. Let's talk about media ownership. So, I've had a lot of people contact me over the last couple of weeks because people are freaking out about media ownership. And they have good reason to be freaking out. Because with stuff like Sony saying, hey, all your old Sony stuff purchases that you bought back in the day, you don't own it. Uh, Ubisoft, hey, you don't own your games. Uh, Crunch Crunchyroll slash Funimation, which is still kind of still Sony. Hey, you don't own any content that you bought off the Funimation app. Blah, blah, blah. And with the addition of streaming services getting more and more expensive and out of hand people are just like you know what forget this i'm going back to physical media or i have a lot of digital files how do i host it so if some of you that's been on the channel for a while you know that i myself and a buddy of mine have plex servers we have them on our NAS drives and we run Plex for our media needs. And I have some people that just want to rip to DVDs and that's fine. And I know there's going to be some of you that want to learn how to roll out your own Plex server or MB or Jellyfin server. That's fine. I just, I specifically like for a certain reason i'll get to that in a moment even though i do love my open source software and i see right now there's gonna be a uh, right now it's the time for me to start doing like little tutorials on hey this is how you rip your media for your media server or hey this is how you take media files and burn them to dvds if you still got a dvd burner i know a lot of you don't i know a lot of you don't even get dvd uh readers and writers i'm gonna help your boy's about to help you out because yo the local walmart where i'm at well not this county but the county over it was selling like dvd writers for a laptop for like 12 bucks it's crazy so get on your local like Walmart app or Timu and all that. If you were really trying to be like, yo, I do not like what is going on in the streaming space and this media space and all that. And I want to have ownership of some of my files, get you a DVD burner or Blu-ray burner. I, I also have a Blu-ray burner. I have a project that I've been working on for a while now that I haven't finished. But due to all this craziness, I now know I need to finish that project to show it to you all so you can do a similar thing if you're really concerned about your media and having media ownership. So the reason why I specifically like Plex, even though I am tempted to play around with Jellyfin, uh, Jellyfin's only a little bit more technical only because you normally, for a NAS server, you have to put it in a Docker container and I've never done that. So it would be a learning experience for me, but Plex easy to set up on a NAS drive, easy to set up on a computer. And the other reason why I like Plex, and this is the number one reason why I like Plex is a lot of Americans, I'm going to say this, Americans have smart TVs. Not that many of us have dumb TVs anymore. I actually like dumb TVs because I can just host from my my uh, game consoles or something like that. But a lot of us have smart TVs. And guess what? Plex is an installable app on your smart TV. Jellyfin is not on all smart TVs. But you can still do DNLA cast to them. And if you don't understand what I just said, digital license... Anyways, if you don't understand what I will teach you all this later in some tutorials that I'm going to start doing because I I didn't expect 
all this craziness to happen with the media stuff. You know, like one occasion, they they knew they normally say death come in threes. Well, wow, it came in threes. Cause first we had the Sony announce or or the Ubisoft announcement, wherever which one you uh take a hold. Then then after that Funimation and now the craziness with the streaming services and raising their prices and all that stuff. So there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of you out there that are like, hey, I pay for these services month to month or yearly and or I was a, a fan of Funimation for a while and I bought a whole bunch of stuff off of that app or whatever. And now you feel like you've been done a disservice. Because they are telling you, you don't own anything. And this is the world that we're currently living. I mean, I hate to say it was true. We're, we're subscription-based nation where if you want something, you pay a monthly subscription to get whatever. Whether it's music, movies is what it is subscription based service but there's a lot of you that are old school heads like me and 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 i'm not saying everybody's old school on this i know some people that are actually younger people that are like hey i'm i'm a big i have a big dvd collection stuff like that i just like to roll my own server so yeah i will definitely roll out some tutorials and all that about how to run a media server and give options on how to do it affordably and how to upgrade your drives and all that because oh my god i did not expect this i didn't expect a whole bunch of people contacting me it was like hey man we know you know about this media stuff what we need to do i was, i'm like wow i did not really like i saw stuff coming but i figured it would be like more like techie guys like me being more like okay i got my server and all that but i i've gotten a lot of people like wanting to learn like hey how you do this i need to know so i just wanted to do this quick and dry and dirty little kind of like it's not even a rant. It's more like a public service announcement if you ask me about uh, the state of media in 2024. Wow. It's like, I did not expect a lot of people reaching out to me due to the backlash of media ownership. And I know a lot of people think media ownership means like physical media, but, but, I have a buddy. He 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 has a lot of stuff on external drives. And if you've got digital files and you know how to keep them backed up and everything too, that is still media ownership. And it still means you have a file. So wow. So I'm just I'm just like, wow, like all this within the last couple of days and everything but yeah uh go ahead and give me a like if you want to see well of course i'm gonna do plex i might do a video of me playing around with mv but the most part i'm gonna give you what you need to rip your dvds onto a server and i do have a special request from a couple of ladies that already have digital files and they want to just burn them to disk so burning shouldn't be hard but you know what it's 2024 we don't know if there's been some changes since the back in the day in burning uh media to disk so i'm gonna explore all of that on this channel and 
try to help some of you out there that are rebelling against the attack on you owning media and them just taking your dollars and dollars away for media that you fought you owned i'm already a little salty because i had that uh i had a uh, a series on Sony that I bought and I had bought all the episodes too. And I had bought Terminator Salvation back in the day. The and I already know I'm SOL out of those. Now unless I find it somewhere online or somebody has it that's watching this. If you have that backed up and you're watching this, hit your boy up because I like to get copies of it. All right. Cool. The uh, oh I didn't finish the other reason why I like Plex, other than before I, I wrap this up. The other reason why I like Plex is the fact that not only it's easily accessible on a lot of smart TVs, but, but it is shareable with your friends. So like I said, I have a Plex server. I have a good college buddy of mine that has a Plex server. I can go on his server, watch what he has, he can go on my server and watch what I have. It, I like the, the, the idea of, hey, sharing is caring. I have my taste. He has his taste. But, you know, if I'm in that mood of, hey, I want to watch something different, I can go on his server and be like, oh, he has something I don't have. Let me watch that. And he could do the same with me. So, yeah, I really like that aspect of... Uh, Plex too. You still kind of have that sharing community thing. I've been, because you know, I was a DJ. I've been dabbling around with uh, Plex's newest thing called Plex Amp. And I, I've put both my DJ library up there and my personal music library up there. And it, it's a work in progress. I'm trying to get it to report some of my music and playlists and all that correctly but we'll get there but yeah i'm i'm trying to get myself out of the spotify slash apple eco space when it comes to media because now seeing all this even though i've uploaded terabytes and i mean terabytes to my apple music i'm worried that with all this that's going on, even though supposedly I own all this music, I am worried that it might not happen today. But sometime down the line, they might say, hey, you know all that music you uploaded? You don't own that no more, even though I'm the one that uploaded the music. But we don't know. This is weird times when it comes to media. So there you go. All right, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, support your boy, link is in the bio. Until next time, guys, peace, love, take care.